If nearly three quarters of London workers would rather quit their jobs than giving up the flexibility to work from home. Now, a survey by Bloomberg Intelligence found four in ten would need a raise of at least 16% to reconsider their position. Now, here with me, Sue Munden from our Bloomberg Intelligence team. Sue, I have to say, no one could pay me enough to actually stay at home. I love being in the office. But what's the rationale, first of all, behind the survey? Well, we wanted to get the employees' perspective on this. Obviously, work from home is a big issue. Mm -hmm. um, I do real estate and all the big London REITs who tend to have the big multinationals as their tenants in prime space tell us what, what they think. But I thought it would be really important to get a much broader perspective by having a survey. And we surveyed 500 um, respondents mm -hmm. um, about a week ago and asked them these questions. So what would it take um, for you to go back to the, um, the office full time? and so on and so we've learned quite a lot from the yep. survey um, we can go through some of the results if you like yeah I mean the results are, are pretty amazing actually and it kind of points to the fact that people you know want 16 percent which is not insignificant in terms of rate rise but does it mean that work from home is here to stay um, I think it, it really is 95 percent of the respondents said that their offices already give them yep. Um, work from home. 70% of the respondents said that they think it's here to stay, that they actually believe that it's a permanent fixture. So yes, I, I, I do believe it is. Um, and also, um, out of uh, that 73%, what we've seen is previously, the elder generation only in June, because we did another survey in June, they'd said that um, about 44% of them um, wanted to have permanent work from home or those flexibility. Now that's gone up to 77. So that 73% now is a very, very small variance yeah. between the age groups and so do you think it's it's London because it's London so it's also more expensive the commute is more difficult or is it just a lifestyle yeah so they um, there's a chart that we had um, that showed the reasons why people wanted to come back to work and why they didn't why they want to stay at home obviously rain rail strikes truck costs and all that sort of thing coming to the office salary increase was high up there um, but also um, things like networking and the knowledge transfer for the younger staff and so on